Good evening and welcome to the January 28th, 2020 Board of Selectmen meeting. Before we start, I'd like to ask everybody in the room to stand, if we would. As, as you know, the town of Hudson has been suffering uh, quite a few um, deaths with very popular people and well-known people. And on the 23rd, Officer Katie Thine of the Newport News Virginia Police Department was killed in the line of duty. I'd just like to read some information that Chief Avery passed on to me. On Thursday, January 23rd, Officer Katie Thine of the Newport News Virginia Police Department was tragically killed in the line of duty. Although Officer Thine worked in Virginia, she attended Alvern High School where she excelled. Officer Thine was well respected by her peers, faculty, and the members of the Hudson community. During her time at Alvern High School, she enrolled in the junior ROTC program and joined the United States Navy upon graduation. In 2018, Officer Thine was hired by the Newport News Police Department where she was assigned to the patrol division. I would ask that all of you please keep, her, keep Officer Thine, her family, and her brother and sister police officers of the Newport News Police Department in your thoughts and prayers. I would ask now for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. I don't see any standing. Okay. What's that? Okay, we will. Okay. And just for the public's knowledge, on Thursday night at 7.30, there will be a candlelight vigil for the officer on the lawn around the flagpole at Elvern High School. Members of the local police departments as well as the Newport News Police will be in attendance as well as members of the family. Mr. Collins, would you lead us in the pledge, please? Yes. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Public input, anybody in the room would like to speak to the Board of Selectmen tonight? Not seeing any, we'll move on to resignations, nominations, appointments, and recognition. Citizens Traffic Advisory Committee. There's none. You have a question, Selectman Kuchu? No, I said there's none. Oh, well, we have a uh, resignation. A motion to accept the resignation of Mike, Mike Petrie from the Citizens Traffic Advisory Committee. I'll second. Motion on the floor by Selectman McGrath, seconded by Selectman Roy. Any discussion? Selectman McGrath. I, I think it's appropriate to um, mention that he had, he discovered that he had a conflict with being able to attend meetings and therefore he resigned the position. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor accepting the resignation, say aye. 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 Those opposed, ayes have it. Citizens Traffic Advisory Committee, one member, vacancy, one alternate vacancy. We do have one application, Thomas Barrett, but he could not be here tonight. Do we want to move to uh, defer? Or, or I haven't met him, so I, yeah, I, was, I think it's... I think you were here when he was appointed originally. You might have forgotten. But. Well, I might not have been here. I mean, but oh. I don't remember. I don't That's remember him, so... Defer. Go ahead, defer. Okay. Consent items, does any board me member wish to remove item separate consideration? I just want to talk that on 210, it was listed as the cable utility committee was canceled. It is not canceled. Sorry, Selectman Martin. Yeah, I, I think we have an outstanding on A1. That's going to be taken up. Um, nope. It's not an old business. Oh, it's, it's, it's an old business. No. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. No, A1. Is it's the, the same. It's the same address, right? The Veterans Tax Credit for or Northridge Drive Road in Hudson. We talked about last week. Correct? Exactly. Yeah. We deferred it to get more information because of the amount um, of service. Right. The amount of service. And it's in there, and it's all set. Okay, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. I, it's. Yeah. It was in. It's, the packet. it's in the packet. Okay. 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 So we're all set. Yeah. All right. Then I'm good. Thank you. Anyone else? 
Um, did we want to do we want to discuss moving the board of select meeting to the workshop day on the fourth, or or do we want to keep it on the tenth? I guess because there was some discussion about that. It would. If, if you want, you want to bring up your comment again, Selectman McGrath. Well, no. Uh, Selectman Roy pointed out that the meeting that we're talking about, or the election that we're talking about, is actually the primary, not the town election. So. Okay. I'm good. Uh, I'll say. Yeah. What What is the wishes of the board? Mm -hmm. I'll I'll go with the majority. It would. I I personally would. It makes sense to me instead of coming here in case we have a long agenda. It makes sense to me to have our next meeting. Next week. On the fourth. On the fourth, and then. We don't meet on the 10th, and we have the primary on the 11th. So sometimes our meetings can go along. We don't want to be here till 11, and then have to be. We'll, we'll be at the polls till later on in the evening on Tuesday as well. So just my thought. If it's not convenient, I'm good with it. I, I'd be fine with the fourth. Selectman McGrath. I'd be fine with either one. Selectman Kuchu. Either one. <laughs> I'll go with the fourth too. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Right. Okay. Fourth it is. You just said either one. <laughs> Anything else? All right. Moving on. So I'm going to make a motion. What I was going to do is switch your pages. Anybody want to make a put motion? I got to make a motion to approve consent items A, B, C, D. And E as noted, and F as amended and noted and appropriate. Second. second. Motion on the floor by Selectman Kuchu, seconded by Selectman Martin. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Mr. Malaysia. Old business. <coughs> okay, votes taken after the public session on January 14th, 2020. One, Selectman Martin made a motion, second by Selectman Roy, to approve the hiring of Andrew Silva for the position of firefighter, AEMT, in the fire department at the contracted salary of $20.55 per hour, step one. This assignment will be a non-exempt position in accordance with the International Association of Firefighters Local 3154 as per the union contract. The vote was 5-0, to zero. motion carried. Selectman Kuchu made a motion to adjourn at 9.50 p.m. This was seconded by Selectman Martin. That motion carried 5-0. Item 2, Hawker Peddler License, which was deferred from 114.20, Spring Hill Catering. I believe you, you have correspondence in front of you. I believe you all yeah. got a copy of the I requested that that be deferred so that we could uh, determine whether or not they were in compliance with the uh, zoning board's special exception and the stipulations of approval. I talked to Bruce. I had also received a complaint about that uh, particular business. And so I filled out the complaint form. I talked to Bruce. He did an inspection. He talked to the business owner, property owner, and um, they are in compliance. So we can move forward. Any further discussion? Somebody like to make a motion? Make a motion to, <clears throat> well, you have language for that one? Yes. You don't have it? Okay. Motion to approve Hawker Pedal license for Spring Hill Catering. I'll second. I'll, I'll, if he made the motion. Okay. Oh, you make a motion, motion on the floor. Yeah. Motion on the floor by Selectman Kuchu, seconded by Selectman Roy. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, ayes have it. New business. Item A, public hearing acceptance of the 2020 Exotic Aquatic Plant Control Grant from NHDES. Elvis. Typically he handles oh, yeah, 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 the phones. Right, right, Elvis, okay. for Elvis or Randy. Phil Collins, 5 Locust Street. Uh, it's time to review the uh, aquatic uh, plant controls at Robinson Pond and Audinic Pond. Uh, the state has supplied us with a new level of funding for this year uh, with a total grant amount in the up to $22,634. Uh, the, the grant will be divvied up between Robinson Pond and Audinic Pond for both chemical treatment and diver assisted uh, suction harvesting. Uh, the chemical treatments will take place mainly in June at Tonic Pond and Robinson Pond. The diver 
uh, assisted uh, plant harvesting will take place from April through November. Uh, we're here today to see if you guys would accept the uh, current grant. Uh, all, all, also, the um, difference would be paid for uh, from the Conservation Commission Fund, Professional Service Fund. Anyone have any questions? Seeing none. Motion. By you, need, you, need, you need to open a public hearing because of the amount that we get. So. <coughs> I open the public hearing at 710. Anybody who'd like to do talk in the public hearing? Seeing none, we'll close it at 710. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion for the Board of Selectmen to accept, accept the Exotic Aquatic Plant Control Grant from the New Hampshire Division of Environmental Services for the services this spring and summer. Second. Motion on the floor by Selectman Kuchu, seconded by Selectman McGrath. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Ayes have it. You doing the uh, next one also, Mr. Yeah. Collins? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so the second part is the uh, contract approval for <clears throat> dash and herbicide treatments for uh, removal of milfoil and <clears throat> at Arnonick Pond and Robinson Pond. Uh, the current contractors that submitted bids uh, is Solitude. Uh, for the chemical treatments and aquatic, uh, excuse me, I'm not, I'm never this, uh, uh, Aqualogic, who did the work last year at Robinson Pond. Uh, Aqualogic was out on site uh, uh, last year uh, for a couple of days that uh, I was out there at, and I was able to observe their operation. Uh, they seem to do a reasonably good job in harvesting all the uh, plant matter around the boat launch area and some of the other areas of the farm. Uh, the uh, chemical treatments uh, looks like um, will be pretty intense at Audinic this year. It looks like they're going to try two different chemicals to try to treat the species out there, but there will be no dash uh, dives taking place over there. So. Any questions for Mr. Collins? Seeing none, motion. Make a motion to approve and sign the attached 2020 contracts for Solitude Lake Management for herbicide treatment for Robinson and Atarnik mm -hmm. Pond up to $33,987. And Aqualogic for dash work for both Robinson and Atarnik Ponds up to $22,600. Do I read the rest of that? The, the cost of these contracts will be covered by the NHDES Exotic Aquatic Plant Control Grant at a 40% cost match up to $22,643. And the town portion will be covered through the Conservation Commission Professional Services Account, account number 5586-252. Second. Motion on the floor by Selectman Roy, seconded by Selectman McGrath. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Ayes have it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much, sir. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Item C, donation acceptance for a police comfort dog haven. They'd like to speak. I don't let them speak. Oh, boy. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Really go for it. What? There's a lot of room. We take up a lot of space. <laughs> um, so I'm here just to, again, just want to acknowledge a, a couple of the very uh, very generous donations uh, from corporations in town for uh, Haven the Comfort Dogs. So um, Bay State Welding donated $2,500. Um, Mike's Pies donated $250. Uh, Hudson Police, um, then American Legion, Post 48, uh, $250. The Sons of American Legion, $25. Um, my aunt and uncle from Weymouth, Massachusetts, Paula and Martin Downey, donated $25. Um, a total uh, amount of $3,050 um, for this round. Um, and then I, I was just made aware that um, Selectman McGrath has made a donation as well. So I'd like to thank you personally. You're welcome. I appreciate Very welcome. it. Um, tomorrow I should be going to a meet and greet at St. Mary's where um, they're supposed to be donating $500. Um, to us tomorrow 
and then another uh, person through Facebook Messenger in lieu of her father is going to donate 200 and then promise to donate another 500 in July to help cover vet costs in the future. So, you, you want to talk a little bit about what the donations are for? Yeah, so um, the donations, um, right now America's Pets has donated the food for us. Uh, Love Your Dog um, Spa um, has covered the grooming costs. For the most part, it is, you know, food, bedding, up, upstart, um, you know, some of it is going to be going towards the cost of uh, the initial purchase or the training to pay for the training, um, the vet cost, the, you know, the housing for the dog, uh, why we're there, and they all the vet costs that they incurred for all the inoculations and everything that they did as she was a puppy, the spade they already paid for that she was spaded. So future, this is covering for the cost of it and the training. Um, and then moving forward, we're hoping to just grab a donation fund to cover uh, medical costs, annual checkups, anywhere, probably I, I'm estimating between five and a thousand uh, to cover those costs that uh, you know we will accrue as soon as we, you know, now that we have full custody of, of Haven. So, you know, anything. And then toys, and you don't even sometimes think about it, incidentals. Sometimes she likes to eat her dog bed, so <laughs> um, I'm working on that. So, you know, going through beds and chew toys like crazy, but. We're, uh, we're finding our way, so. But yeah, and uh, actually, a, a corporation, Lumabone, actually donated uh, eight bacon-flavored Lumabones for for us um, for that the other day, so. Awesome. But it, you know, the waste bags, you don't even think about waste bags that we need, so I don't get fined by Jana. <laughs> <laughs> she makes me nervous, so I'm, I'm gonna avoid <laughs> that at all costs. Any other questions? Black Mama Graf. How's your sock collection? Socks are doing all right. My son's socks, not so much. You know, um, they belong in church. They're very holy. So, uh, but she, you know, we're, it's it's we're getting there. We're, we're, they're learning. My children are learning to close the doors behind them now. It's a it's a good lesson to learn, uh, but a tough lesson sometimes. So. Yeah, and as long as she doesn't chew uh, shoes. That's uh, a she cost, she that's loves a the shoes. She, she was actually bringing my shoes to the door for me um, before we left. You know. <laughs> But she likes to like chew the laces. Uh, I've I've lost a couple of boot laces. I was getting ready, <laughs> and that was nice. I, I took a couple from the guy the boots next to me. They they don't know that yet. So I will figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> My chief. I mean, no, sorry. I'm sorry. He, he didn't hear that. <laughs> Any other questions? No, just a comment, Mr. Chairman. That it's uh, we have a lot of um, um, folks, companies. Um, Individual people, um, members of the board, uh, donating to this to this um, this animal who's um, almost ready to do uh, good things for people, um, and I, I appreciate that all that uh, financial donations that have come in for this dog. You're doing a great job with her. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So I I know I'm not a member of the board, but just from the school perspective, yeah. I mean it's just so phenomenal. There's nothing but greatness when when you go in and, and havens with you I mean that's it's it's great and so you know to Selectman Martin's comment imagine what's going to happen once they're fully she's fully trained but she's already making an impact now in the school so it's great yeah thank you yeah I I mean uh, I have a pretty good relationship with a lot of the kids uh, I'm in my fifth year at the middle school but I, I will tell you that the attention that I get has raised at least 50 percent extra so, you know, I had a pretty good relationship with maybe 300 out of the 800. You know, everyone knows who I am, but I have more kids coming up, especially the sixth graders. When I walk down that hallway, it's they're chasing me down the hallway to try to pet the dog. It's just just the light up that they see and the staff, they, they love it too. You know, they, they get a smile out. Every once in a while, I'll throw the ball down the hallway, like, you know, and teachers will, what's going on, and they, and they just get a kick out of it. So it's it's kind of, you know, I we go to the counseling office. We've helped you know and at times it has actually helped de-escalate some kids that come in and, and very upset you know and feel like the world's at the end and then it actually de-escalates them already so I you know it a lot of great things are already happening so and I was just up at the high school with some staff that were having a tough time with the the you know the loss of the officer too so I was just up there on Monday I was at the senior center today they loved her they tried to steal her so you know I gotta watch <laughs> gotta watch everybody everyone wants to take her home so Seeing nothing else, motion. Motion to accept the donations. Second. I'll second. 
Motion on the floor by Selectman Martin, seconded by Selectman McGrath. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you for bringing this Thank program you. forward. Aye. Thank you. She was sleeping. I would have brought her, but she's exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see your sneakers when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> Item D, public works request to advertise for traffic technician position. Thank Good you, evening, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, member of the boards. Um, when uh, uh, we promoted one of the, um, actually it was the uh, uh, traffic tech into the open foreman's position, uh, this created a, a slot there that I need to get filled um, with the stuff Elvis has come up with, the town engineer, with the traffic lights, um, and everything else this guy takes care of is, is quite essential. Um, so I'm asking a request to, to go forward with it. This position's been in there for 20 years. Uh, Well-deserved, well-earned position, keeping up with, like I said, the stuff that uh, town engineer has come up with uh, keeps them quite busy. So uh, we'd like to post it in-house. I would like to promote from in-house if uh, all the candidates uh, meet the job description that uh, we recreated, in including some of the new traffic stuff. Um, but I think we got a pretty good shot at it. Thank you. Any questions? No. Make a motion to authorize the public works director to post the position of traffic technician. I'll second. Motion on the floor by Selectman Kuchu, seconded by Selectman Roy. Any further discussion? Just a question. Yep. Um, your your motion is to advertise advertise in house and not. Well, the posting process in house is first, correct? correct. Yes. So we, if we do, I just yeah. wanted to clarify. Yeah. That's all. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Marks by the school board, Mr. Gasnia. Yes, well, first off, thank you for, for having me. A um, couple things, real quick. So, first, this weekend is something called the Penguin Plunge, where uh, a large number of students are going to be jumping in the ocean to raise money. Um, while the weather's been nice, it's not been that nice. <laughs> so um, it is an annual event. Uh, a lot of money is raised, and so good luck to them. Uh, I want to remind everybody the school deliberative session is this Saturday at uh, 9 a.m. at the community center. And finally, um, I know that obviously as with any new process, there are some bumps in the road, but um, I think we're making a lot of progress with the partnerships between the, the school board and the board of selectmen. Um, I especially want to thank Selectman Roy. Um, I think, you know, we, we have um, a show where we come together every every month. This month we were joined by Mr. Malaysia and Mr. Russell, and I think it puts a good image out there. And, and again, there's always going to be bumps in the road in a new process, but I think we're making a, a lot of uh, in the right direction. Thank you very much. Thank you. Selectman Kuchu. I have nothing. Oh, you know, town administrator. I say, you missed yeah, me. I missed you. <laughs> Just a couple of quick things. Um, we've cut the purchase order for the blue light for the Lowell Road and Sagamore Bridge intersection. <laughs> you signed it tonight. It'll probably take a couple of weeks for that to come in. We're basically going to take care of it. We're going to do it. Um, so, again, within three or four weeks. There's a hearing tomorrow at the Senate for that bill that was talking about the county fees. I believe Mr. Michaud is going to go up and represent, but we've sent correspondence up regarding that fee that the county wanted to charge us. I also put something on your desk this evening. There's a letter and an invoice to the DOT back on the 16th of January. We had to go out and take care of Kimball Hill Road. I guess it was an accident. It was pretty serious. So I think we should build them, at least send something back that way. So I put that on your desk. If that's acceptable, we'll have the chairman sign it. We'll send it off tomorrow. Is it only two hundred and fourteen dollars? I got the numbers you, from Jess. Jess you're not missing it. a comma, are you? No, I'm not missing a comma. No, I'm missing no. the police and the fire. Yeah, what was the police and fire response? That would be my. Did we get? To I do would a, presume they'd have to respond one way or the other. They have. To, well, they wouldn't have had to respond if the if road. If it was close. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I got a comment on that too. Because of that situation, we tied up two police cruisers for over an hour um, instead of patrolling the rest of the streets. And the response from the fire department, they had to stand by until the car was removed. So they were there at least an hour. We probably should include them in just to make a point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. To make a point. Yeah, because but for the road not being cleared, they, yeah, absolutely. you know, the so, police and fire wouldn't have. Because, you know, if worse comes to worse, we'll call the state, state road, you better send state police. 
you know, if they, if they want to, we'll say then state police need to handle this. There's also the state. an overlap between shifts, so some of the guys were on overtime. I, I, I don't know. The police were. You know what time that came in, Chief? I thought it there was were two, after. There were two of them. One was at 5.30, and then they had another one later. And the people on the 5.30, I guess, stayed yeah, not second shift. No, I'm talking about the police side. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Either. Mr. Malia, do you think you can get some numbers before, you know, next week? Because it's only a week. You can get them tomorrow. Yeah, because I, I had talked to both chiefs yeah. to get them. To, yeah. to get them, so they should. Again, yeah. just put them in the letter and send it off. Right. Tax about $60,000 on that. Let's see what they say. Did it, if I might. Hey, sneak in the blue light to it at the same time. <laughs> well, I don't really think they're going to pay this. No, so I, I, think I don't. We're going to do no, the blue light no, on our we, own. We, we, need to, we, need to, we need to make a point. That's why we're doing it. Right. Selecting Kuchu, I'm sorry. As you know, Mr. Chairman, I had extensive conversation that day, pretty much the better part of the day, with the Deputy Commissioner. And. I forget who told me, but apparently, I think it might have been you, apparently the commissioner herself should be coming to Hudson to talk yes. to this board uh, with, uh, with Senator Carson. Yes, that is on my, I was going to discuss okay. that under my comments, but so, go ahead if you want to bring it up now well, while we're I, talking I'm about just, it. Well, I just did, but um, the commissioner uh, of DOT uh, is coming to Hudson. With a check? To, <laughs> I hope so to discuss with us, I know it's going to happen about the check because I've already had discussions with the Deputy Commissioner about the check, but as you are aware, Mr. Chairman, uh, this is nothing new. Yeah. This is repetitive. Year after year after year, we call them, and guess what? The excuse is always the same. We don't have enough truck drivers to man all of the plows, and I made it very clear to the Deputy Commissioner, you need to come up with something better than that because this is what you tell us every year. And one year, I believe it was like four years ago, the trucks were parked uh, by cookies in the parking lot and the road was loaded with snow and cars were slipping and we had to call them to get somebody down here to wake these guys up to tell them they're supposed to be plowing, not parked their cookies having coffee and, and smokes. And that's what they did. They, they had to send uh, out of Bedford, which is, I think, where their office is, they had to send a supervisor down here to tell them to get the trucks out of the parking lot. They got a complaint. So every year, it's basically we don't have enough truck drivers. That's the excuse sometimes they use in the summer as well for road cleanups and whatnot. Oh, we don't have enough people, or they cut our budget. And I'm so sick of hearing it. And. Um, they were upset at me because I had sent Governor Sununu a picture of the vehicle on its roof and I something good to the effect that thank you governor this guy might have lost his life because our state didn't plow their road and they said you didn't do that and I said yeah that's exactly what I did so I hope we have a response from the commissioner so that she can know it's not just one or two of us complaining we represent the town, and I think we're all in accord that if they're supposed to be plowing the roads, get the plows out and get it done. What it, you, you're all familiar with the incident we're talking about. Mm -hmm. okay. what, what I got, I had a, one of our legislators and Senator Carson actually both contacted me, and they had both contacted the commissioner or the vice, the chief, vice commissioner because the she, he was out yeah, of out of state. Deputy. She was out, she was in Washington, Washington right. at a conference. So, in the email that they received back from the state, it was written right in there. I don't know. This isn't word for word, but it was basically I don't know what the problem is. The town roads were worse than our road, which that never happens. That was uh, yeah. you know that, that was a message from the deputy commissioner. commissioner. The person he spoke to at the at our level at the Bedford office, who was saying the roads. I went down there to look at the incident, and I noticed that the roads in Hudson were worse than our road. No, if I had skates, I could have skated down that hill. It was not. But he's, I was livid when I read that in my email that our roads were worse. I've never heard anybody say that Hudson roads are bad. We're the best around. Not compared to the state, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not compared to the state. 
so I will speak with Senator Carson. I just want to make sure I talk to everybody tonight before we did that. She said she will set up the meeting and she had asked that we invite the chiefs that night also. Yep. And and we will get that. We'll take we'll do it at one of our workshops. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. You have anything else, sir? Selectman Martin. Thank you. Mr. Chairman. Um nope. Mr. Gazia said it all. We're going to be there on Saturday at 9 a.m. Come down and have coffee and donuts with us, and then we'll have a meeting, a productive meeting, I hope. Hopefully we don't go into the wee hours of the day. And then um, and then our deliberative session, and that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Select Monroy. Um, just a couple of things. I'll reiterate the school deliberative session is on the 1st of February at 9 a.m. in the community center. Town deliberative session is on February 8th at 9 a.m. in the community center, and the presidential primary uh, is on February 11th at the community center. So the community center is going to be a very busy place. Yes, it and is. the polls are open from 8 to? Seven to 8. Seven, seven to eight. 8. The polls. Okay. The polls. Right. That's all I have. Select my McGrath. I just have one thing. <clears throat> Reminding everyone uh, that's watching this meeting that the police department is having its open house tomorrow evening from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And I would encourage all of you uh, that are interested and plan to vote in the election uh, and hopefully favorably on the expansion of the police department to take the opportunity to tour and see what the conditions are there. That's all that I have. Thank, Thank you. you. You've already talked about the roads. Um, yes, sir. Question, Mr. Chairman. In the event there's a snowstorm on election day, the uh, the uh, moderator has the ability to postpone. Moderator has the option of, of, of where, do the we, where does the public get that information? If because it happened before, and a lot of people complained they went to vote and nobody was there. Well, obviously it'll be on HCTV. It'll be on our web page. They'll post it at the location, but that's probably. Right, so our Lisa web page and HCTV, yeah. that's what and, we have and the at actual, our That's what we have at our disposal. That's for the delib, pardon me, for the town meeting. Right. School, uh, uh, presidential primary, that's not up to us. That is up to the Secretary of State still. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That is not at our, has local. we only have local, so Mr. Indebitson can move the meeting. I believe it's, and it's defined as two weeks. Not if not, you know. It, it's two. It'll be two weeks later. And knowing the Secretary of State, but we can't be, do the primary. Be Twenty-two feet out there, we'd still hold. That's the that's their election. <laughs> First in the nation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have no control over that one. All set. Speaking of the polls, uh, there'll be a group touring Memorial School tomorrow to take a look at that and how that's going to be set up for the presidential election and how they're going to work everything. So uh, the moderator will probably be coming to us fairly soon with how they're going to do that with, and the information and if we're going to go to Memorial School. Uh, I was going to say, who made the decision to go to Memorial that, School? That's why I said he'll be coming to us to present the information. That's what they're going to do it tomorrow. They're going to go through the whole school. They're going to check the calf, the gym, to see which is going to fit better, and we'll take mm -hmm. it from there. Okay. And then uh, on the 8th, we're going to NRPC to meet with the Nashua mayor in reference to the Can train I correct station. you, that would be the 7th. 7th, 7th. The 7th to meet with the mayor in reference to the train station, and we'll see where that goes. I, I'm feeling a deal with some sewer train station type of thing, but we'll see. Any other questions? Have a, uh, never mind. <laughs> if not... 34 minutes. Nicely done. The chairman will entertain a motion to enter non public session to RSA 91 A, colon 2, Roman 2, small a, strategy and negotiations with respect to collective bargaining. RSA 91 A, colon 3, Roman 2, B, the hiring of any person as a public employee. And RSA 91 A, 2, Roman 2, small d, consideration of the acquisition, sale, or lease of real or personal property, which, if discussed in public, would likely benefit a party or parties whose interests are adverse to those of the general community. So Roll. moved. Second. Motion on the floor. Roll uh, by Selectman Martin. Seconded by Selectman McGrath. Roll call, please. Selectman McGrath. Aye. Selectman Roy. Aye. Selectman Kuchu. Aye. Selectman Martin. Aye. Chairman Morin. Aye. 
All in favor, the motion carries. That ends the public session, and we'll be going into non-public at 735, thus ending the televised portion of the meeting. Any votes taken upon entering open session will be listed on the board's next agenda. Have a good night.